In a year of same old smartphones, Google is pitching one that's sexy on the inside. I'm Washington Post tech columnist Jeff Fowler, and today I'm going to take you for a first look at the Pixel 3, just unveiled by Google here in New York City. On the outside, the $800 Pixel 3 and $900 Pixel 3 XL look a lot like smartphones you've seen before. They're big, though not quite as big as the latest iPhones and Samsung Galaxies. They're mostly screen on the front, minus a notch for selfie cameras. And on the back, there's a fingerprint reader and a single camera lens. Wait a minute, were you just yawning? Sure, the Pixel 3 isn't as wowy as some of its competitors, but Google's argument is all phones look kind of alike right now. What matters is what they can do. And the Pixel 3 is sexy on the inside. Google makes the Android operating system used by most of the world's phones, but it's using its own brand of phones to show off its growing prowess in artificial intelligence. The Pixel 3 packs in a whole bunch of AI capabilities, from the practical to the pretty geeky. I'm gonna show you two that caught my attention. First, there's the camera. Ever try to take a shot of some action, but just keep missing it? On the Pixel 3, the camera actually is shooting before and after you press the button looking for the moments where everyone has their eyes open and facing the camera. If the Pixel 3's AI thinks it got a better shot than you, it'll pop up as a suggestion. Or you can turn on a mode called Photo Booth and let the camera decide on its own when to take the shots. It's great for selfies, no fingers required, though it seems to like goofy faces. Okay, now for some AI that's even more out there. The Pixel 3 can answer your phone for you. When a call comes in, three buttons pop up answer, reject, or screen the call. If you press that screen button, the AI Google Assistant will answer and start asking questions on your behalf. It sounds like this. Go ahead and say your name and why you're calling. Hello, I am a robocaller. I am calling to annoy you. Ha ha ha. Just so it's clear, go ahead and say more about why you're calling. I am here to annoy you. Ha ha ha. Please remove this number from your mailing and contact list. Want to take it to the next level? Pixel owners will be the first to get access to an experimental and controversial Google software called Duplex, which uses a realistic sounding robot voice to complete real world tasks over the phone. What's happening out here? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. So I give me one second. Of course, there's a price to many of the Pixel 3's AI capabilities. Data. Google is an advertising company and wants as much of it as possible to add to its profile of you. And recently, it's had some high-profile screw-ups with protecting our data. In some cases, like screening your calls, Google says your data stays on the phone for both privacy and speed. The Pixel 3 is where many of Google's AI experiments are beginning to bloom. The question is, are any of them good enough to make us want to switch phones? The Pixel 3 is available for pre-order now and arrives in stores October 18th. I wonder when the AI will be smart enough to find me some place to charge my phone.